Hello, Kenny Evans here. Another car video. The topic of this video is why emotional men are weak. But before I get into this video, I want to let you guys know this channel is all about helping you guys be, both men and women, be the best you can be in all aspects of your life. And I talk a lot about dating and relationships here on this channel, but you also got health, wealth, and mindsets. I want you guys to be complete people and the best versions of your of yourself you can become. Uh, become. <laughs> so, in addition, I know we got some new people. Welcome. I know we got some people who've been here for a while. Welcome to you as well. So if you've been here for a while or if you're new, uh, subscribe, hit that notification button so you'll be notified for whenever I make some new videos. Um, whenever that may be. You know, it's every Wednesday, but just hit that notification button and subscribe uh, so you'll be notified either way. And of course, if you just want to support me or if you like my videos, you've been here for a while, hit that like button. I appreciate it. I really do. So let's get into this topic here. Why emotional men are weak. This is a very... Uh, important uh, discussion when it comes to dating and relationships, you know, had that Zach Stacy uh, video come out last week about him um, beating up his girlfriend and it was pretty crazy, you know what I mean? So, um, emotional men, you know, uh, obviously they could be dangerous, you know, but um, all that Anger and that emotion comes from a place of weakness. And I'll give you uh, five reasons how come. You know, uh, their emotions and then being overly emotional, emotional makes them weak. But I will put a link to the video or somebody discussing the video, that Zach Stacy video, here in the description. But the first reason why emotional men are weak because they let their emotions run them. And a hallmark of a man is generally to have their emotions in check. You know, and um, again, a man being, you know, run by their emotions is dangerous because men are generally bigger, especially when it comes to women, they're generally bigger than women, stronger than women. So if they just running their emotions and they just, let's say they have an anger problem, punching things, breaking things, they could be a potential threat to that woman. You know what I mean? Or even themselves. Maybe they're suicidal or something. You know, so it's not good. You know, when a, a man is too run by his emotions because then his, his logic decreases you know and if your logic decreases then you don't generally make the best decision you know you don't generally make the best decision and bad things happen so that's the first reason second reason piggyback off the first one they tend to not think before they act because in addition to your emotions Again, you do not put thinking first. So instead of thinking about what's best in the situation, you just act. And while you act, you know, you make a bad decision. And when you make a bad decision, you have bad consequences. Maybe you you hit your girl, she calls the cops on you. You know, maybe you in a bad place. You know, and you, you commit suicide. You know, so it's just a lot of things emotional men that do that make them weak. You know, when it comes to hitting women, it's like only way I would justify a man hitting a woman is if his life is in danger, me personally. But if you just hit her out of anger, that makes you look bad and weak because you're the one who decided to get with that girl 
through all the stuff that she 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 put you through. You decide to get with her. And that means you did not vet her very well. And the fact that she could even get you to that point where you want to hit her, that means she has power over you. And therefore, you're weaker than her. Instead of you leaving, either leaving the situation or leaving the relationship, you let her get have that much power over you where she could get you so emotional or you choose to get so emotional over whatever she did when you put your hands on her just out of anger. I mean, that's just weak. You know, if you got people who think about stuff that think about the consequences and I get it. Sometimes women can make you really mad and they do things that will really, you know, piss you off. But again, you know, if you don't think about the consequences and think about what you're doing before you do it, you know, you could have some really bad consequences in effect afterwards. So that's the second reason. Third reason. Emotional men could be unpredictable. And again, it piggybacks off of the second one. Because you got a guy who has anger issues or maybe they just like to cry. You just, you maybe you know certain things that could trigger them but especially when you know and they know that you know that they got anger issues or they're emotional they'll find reasons to do it and you may not even know what it is and they'll just find a reason and they just get pissed off and just or they just get so emotional they're crying and sad or whatever it is and you have no idea and now you got a storm on your hands because this man is choosing to be in their emotions and be emotional. You know what I mean? So it is definitely something that you got to uh, you got to understand when you're dealing with an emotional man, it could be anything that could trigger them. You know, and then you 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 got to deal with that. You know, so you definitely don't want to be having to uh, uh 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 deal with that because it's more stress on you. We all about drama free zone, stress free as much as we can. Stress-free, drama-free zone. You know what I mean? So whenever you got to... And I, this is also <laughs> leading me to my next point. But whenever you got somebody who's uh, unpredictable, life is not drama-free or stress-free. But this leads me to my fourth point. You know, um, you got to be walking around on eggshells with these people. Because you just don't know what will trigger them. You may know the certain things, but you just don't know... If the next thing you may say or do will trigger them, and then you got to be, you know, going through a whole um, storm. So it's really just because you don't want people in your life who are a burden or who make your life harder. You know what I mean? Especially maybe you've, you've talked to them about it and they just still don't want to get help, whether it's therapy or, you know, self help, you know. Uh, talking about it before you know again that takes thinking where you talk about something before you act you know what i mean but it, you got to think about it first most of the time they don't think before they act they just go especially if they if something really triggers them you know what i mean so that is another problem you got to walk on eggshells you know what i mean and it's just like it's just not worth it it's really not it's not worth it you know so but yeah Obviously, last but not least, reason number five is they are overall more feminine in, in the man's body. And again, that is potentially dangerous. You got a bit, let's say the guy's like six foot, six foot six, terrible anger issues. You know what I mean? And he has his wife, his girl he's dealing with, she five two and she gets him mad. I mean, that could be a deadly situation for her. You know what I mean? Like the fact that he's almost like a a, a a male version of her. The only thing is she has um probably more emotion, but she's just not as small, she's not as big as he is. So she can't do as much damage. And you know women, sometimes when they're mad, they're gonna do what they can to get you mad. You know, just to get a reaction out of you, so they feel satisfied. But then whenever you as a, a as a emotional man re reacts back to her, her emotions, again, it's a storm. There's drama, there's 
turmoil. Things just don't work out. You know, and it's just weak for a man. It doesn't it doesn't matter what a woman does unless again, for me personally, your life is in danger. She threatened, maybe she got a weapon or whatever. Your life is in danger. Then you could fight back. But ultimately, it's just like there's not many reasons you should be putting your hands on a woman. You know, and again, that's a sign of you not vetting well as a man and you letting things escalate too far. You know, so it's not about the woman. It's always about you. Whether you vetted or even if you vetted well, how do you handle the situation? You know, so again, these men generally are more in their feminine and they're obviously in a man's body. So it could be dangerous. And that's like a lethal weapon. But when you have a lethal weapon, you have to have somebody who's strong to be able to control that. And if you're dealing with a woman and she's stronger than you in the situation or she has more control than you in the situation. By definition, you are weaker or in less control. And as a man, you should always be in control and stronger and physically, but more emotionally than the woman you're dealing with, because that's makes you a leader. So, but yes, uh, that's all I got for y'all here today. You know, let me know if you agree, disagree. Um, If you do disagree, you put a thumbs down. Let me know in the comments. How come you disagree? So we can have a civil discussion. You know what I mean? Um, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button so you can be notified for whenever I make other videos. Um, of course, let me know what other, you know, topics you want me to talk about. Again, this channel is not just for me. It is for you as well. I know, again, I talk about a lot of dating relationships. But we also talk about mindset, health, and wealth as well. Because I want both you men and women to be the best you can be in all aspects of your life. So you become the best versions of yourselves. You know, so, um, yeah, that's all I got for y'all till next week. Y'all stay safe. Always remember the strongest man is the happiest man. Peace.